this is Kate with the St. Louis Science Center, Science Off Center team, here with another fun at-home science experiment that you can do on your own. Since it's spring, lots of things are blooming, things are coming to life, and I thought I'd talk about some living things right now. All living things need five things to live. They need food, water, air, shelter, and space. So, this is going to be our shelter, just a Ziploc bag, to give them some space. I'm going to put some pieces of uh, egg carton, just a couple, just so that they don't get smushed inside of there. They need some water. Since we're dealing with crickets today, one of my favorite insects, this is going to be our water, and this is going to be our food. So we've got air all around us. We've got shelter, the bag. They've got space because we've got the egg carton in there. Food, water, now we just need the living things. All right, so inside of our habitat, which is a plastic bag with some egg carton pieces in it, we have our animals. They have space, they have air, they have shelter, but they need food and water. I like to purchase Cricut food and water just at any old sort of Petco or um, pet store, anything that's close by. So you're going to put some water in there. Crickets are pretty stupid, so if they drink water, they just kind of drown in it. Here's some cricket food. Seal that up, and you have a nice home for your crickets. I also wanted to show you the difference between a male and a female cricket. So right here, we have a male cricket, because it's smaller, and you might notice on its back, hind legs, there's a V shape. But when you see the female, you might notice a big difference. It also has a V shape, but it also has a black pointy thing called the ovipositor. The female is a little bit bigger, and that ovipositor so that she can lay eggs in the dirt. So again, the difference between a female and a male cricket. Make these observations at your house to see what you might have hopping around outside or in your basement, and maybe you can even make an animal habitat too. Let us know your results at scienceoffcenter.org.